the Icelanders celebrated a return to Long Island at a news conference on Wednesday at the site of their future home, Belmont Park. The state's top development agency, Empire State Development, accepted the Icelanders' proposal for an 18 000 seat arena adjacent to the Belmont Park grandstand. The arena will host at least 41 Icelanders' games a season and other events. A 400 000 square foot retail village and a hotel are also planned in the $1 billion project. The Icelanders' majority owner, John Ledecky, did not say how much the arena itself would cost, but he said it would be privately financed. We're not looking for government funds, he said. Wednesday's event was a victory lap for Ledecky, who became the Icelanders' majority owner with Scott Malkin in 2016. He has sought a way out of the team's unhappy marriage with Barclays Center in Brooklyn for much of the time since. For 43 seasons, the Icelanders played at NASA Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Uniondale, about eight miles east of Belmont Park. But after the previous majority owner, Charles Wong, failed to persuade Nassau County voters to approve his lighthouse project, which included plans for a new arena, the team decided in 2012 to move to Brooklyn for the 2015-16 season. Sharing Barclays Center with the Nets has been difficult. Fans have not shown up in numbers needed to make the arrangement worthwhile. The Icelanders are last in the NHL. In attendance this season, with about 11,500 fans a game, and they were near the bottom the previous two seasons. There are hundreds of obstructed view seats and frequent complaints about the quality of the ice at Barclays Center, which opened in 2012 but was not built with hockey in mind. The Icelanders or Barclays Center can opt out of their lease in January. The team has said it intends to play in Brooklyn through next season. But the new arena will not be ready until 2020 at the earliest, so the Icelanders may need a temporary home. Gov Andrew M. Cuomo, a native of nearby Queens, attended the news conference on Wednesday in support of the Icelanders arena plan. He urged the NHL commissioner, Gary Bettman, to let the team return on an interim basis to Nassau Coliseum, which after a recent renovation can seat only 13,500 for hockey. We'll take a look at it, Bettman said. Brooklyn Sports and Entertainment, which runs Barclays Center and the new Nassau Coliseum, said in a statement that it hoped the Icelanders would use their former home after they leave Brooklyn and before their first opening face-off at Belmont. We are currently awaiting a response from the Icelanders to our proposal to bring NHL games back home to the Coliseum on an interim basis, the statement said. We understand the required approvals from all parties involved to make that happen, and are prepared to facilitate any necessary enhancements. The addition of yet another arena in the New York area represents a different kind of challenge in an already crowded marketplace. The Icelanders' new home would be the fifth arena in the area, including Madison Square Garden and Prudential Center in Newark. I'm not worried about other arenas, Ledecky said.